It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from the Pilot Brewery and it's a can of their SUP IPA. Comes in at 4.8% ABV and it's in collaboration with the SUPHUT.co.uk. They're a stand-up paddling board firm that sells stand-up paddling boards. Uh, let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. It's a West Coast style IPA. It's 4.8% ABV. So, really nice colour. A lovely looking, that would look, that would definitely pass as a West Coast style IPA. Nice levels of carbonation. You've got little bits of yeast floating around, this unfiltered, unpasteurised, and I'm not sure if you can see that yeast floating around. It's a one finger white head and it's a lovely golden coloured ale. Shall we get the aroma? Wow. Wow, it's really hoppy, really, really hoppy beer. Spicy, grapefruity. This is your your more kind of pithy lemon, grapefruit peel, lime peel, more of that sharp bitterness aroma. I think it's gonna be quite bitter this one. Picking up a little bit of earthiness from the beer. That's probably the malt and the yeast that's combining to produce that aroma. It smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers. Really earthy to begin with. Earthy, spicy. Pow, there's your bitterness on the back end. It is a very bitter beer. That earthiness is there, it's there, mixed with the that malty, slightly chocolatey flavour. I'm picking up a little bit of bitter chocolate in there as well. It's quite jammy and tart. And then it goes over on the back end, it'd be grapefruity, citrusy, there's some orange zest in there. A lot of spice and then a big whack of bitterness on the back end. I like it. I like it. I think if I if I was to brew this, because the pilot brewery, they're the small micro brewery, they got a massive opportunity to, to change beers because they they're quite small and compact they can change recipes they can they can absolutely nail this in the future I think so because they can alter things because a brew's gonna it, it still costs quite a bit of money but it's it's not kind of large regional kind of scales where you set yourselves on a decision on a recipe and you've got to stick with that um, because it, it's such large scales with the malt, the hops, the yeast. But with, with it being a nice small brewery in the back of a pub on the, the Mumbles Mile there, they can adjust this. They really can adjust this. I would, I would take that earthiness down. I would take that spiciness down a little bit. And I think that would give the, the hops in the, bitter, in, in the beer more of an opportunity to express themselves. I think there's enough hops in the beer it's just I think I would just drop that earthiness down just a little bit uh, that multi yeasty earthiness bring it down a touch and then I think the hops would really shine in this beer but it's a lovely beer it's a lovely beer I like it should we give it a rating cheers Good body, refreshing, 
carbonated, really nice aroma, citrusy, grapefruity, earthy and spicy. A really good IPA, I like it. And for 4.8% ABV, some of the beers are 4%, some are 4.5, some are 4.8. You could grab a six pack from the brewery, mix them up from their lager to their revolver to this sub IPA, and you could you could get yourself six, seven cans and then really enjoy yourself at a barbecue. Mix and match flavors and, and mix and match different beers. I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10. It's a seven out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.